Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Charles from Channel Books on Stereo. I'm here to bring you the mother of all book hauls. Essentially, I'm hauling all the books that I should have hauled a long time ago, but we're just going to catch up in this video. So in the description box down below, I tried to separate it by genre or like special editions or some sort of theme, but those timestamps will be down in the description box down below. And I'm gonna stop talking and let's get into the book haul. So up first, I have this huge stack of historical romances. So these four or five, I think it's five books, were gifted to me by one of my great book two friends, Lacey from Lacey. I'm blanking on her channel name, but I'll link it down in the description down for you guys down below. She's absolutely amazing. I think some of these are on audio, some are not on audio, which Lacey kind of did me a little bit dirty, but I'm thankful anyways for these books. So up first we have Seducing the Governess by Margot McGuire. I know nothing about this book, but it looks really good. Then I have From London with Love by Jana, Jenna Peterson, and I believe this is a spy historical romance. Then I have Hitched to the Gunslinger by Michelle McLean, and I thought this was like a pen name of Sarah McLean, but I'm apparently very wrong, but this is a Western historical romance. Then I have Through the Storm by Beverly Jenkins. I was about to butcher this author's name and say Brenda Jackson, but Beverly Jenkins. And this is another Western historical romance. Then I have Rebellious Desires by Julie Garwood. And I know a lot of people love Julie Garwood. I haven't read anything from Julie Garwood, so I might start with this one first. Then the next two books were gifted to me, my great friend Carrie. I'm blanking on her channel name as well. She'll be linked down in the description box down below, but she gave me the first two books in the Highwaymen series by Kerrigan Byrne. The first book is The Highwaymen and the second book is The Hunter which is probably my favorite book of the series and this one is an assassin historical romance. Then the next set of books that I have are from Kate Bateman. If you have not read any Kate Bateman I actually have an interview with Kate on my channel. You guys should definitely go and check that out but I have two of her latest books and a duplicate of the second book in that same series for her current ongoing series. I can't remember what the series name is. I think it's like Daring Pursuits, but it essentially follows two warring families and we follow each of the family members fall in love. So the first book is A Reckless Match and this is an Enemies of Lovers and I absolutely love this one. I gave it, I think a four out of five or five out of five stars, but I can't quite remember. Then I have two copies of The Daring Pursuit. One, someone gifted to me. I forgot who gifted to me. And the other copy was from the author herself. And I think I just called the name of the series the title of the second book. So I don't know what the series is called, but it's absolutely amazing. Love this book as well. And I gave this one, I think, a five out of five stars. Absolutely amazing. Then up next, I have way more books than what I'm holding right now. But this is like my dark romance-esque portion of the video. But I couldn't find a great categorization for all these books. But let's get into the books. So up first, I have two books by Jenica Snow. Sorry, you're kind of seeing a little bit of a glare, but... I need the light to like make sure I look good. So up first I have Bite Marks which I think is like book five or six in the Lycan series. You can kind of read all these books as a standalone if you want to but there is an overarching story and you are introduced to the heroes to future books in previous books but this one has to be Jenica's like dirtiest book in the whole entire series and I absolutely love this one. Then I have Reckless Air which is I think book two in her Underworld Mafia series. There is like a whole like overarching like world that other authors have written in, but this is book two and the follow up to her first book published within that world. Then I have Sawyer by Siobhan Davis. I know nothing about this book. I received it in a book box, but I believe it's like book six in like a series. And I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Can I actually read book six and like just ignore the first five books? So I was like, mm you're gonna be put on a little bit of the back burner until I read books one through five. Then I have The Revenge You Seek by Tracy Lorraine and this is a bully college age romance. And y'all, I absolutely love this book. This is the first book in a trilogy, so it does leave off on a cliffhanger, but y'all, I, I think I have found one of my new favorite authors. Like I absolutely eat up all her books, like just, just like candy. Like I absolutely love this author. Up next, I have Obsession by Kayla Lorraine and Meg Ann. And this is the first book in a quartet that is a reverse harem paranormal romance. And thankfully the author sent me a copy of the first book. I mean, like, look at that cover. Like, wouldn't you not want to read this book based on the cover? But if that was enough convincing for you guys, the audiobook is like a full cast, full production audiobook where I think all the different guys have like a different narrator. And so it's an absolutely amazing time on audio. This book does leave off on a cliffhanger, but they are kind of rapidly releasing the books. And I believe book two is already out and book three is due out very soon. So definitely this is the time to kind of get on this series because it has all the kinks, 
all the spice and you guys will absolutely love this book. Then I have two books by the one, the only JT Gessinger. Up first, I have Ruthless Creatures, which is book one in the Queens of Monsters series. Then I have the second book in the ser in the Queens of Monsters series, which is Carnal Urges. And this one features my favorite heroine ever, Sloane. If you have not started the series or you're kind of apprehensive about Mafia, this is like an amazing place to start. Like I absolutely love this series. And if you check out the acknowledgements in book four, which is currently already out, the audiobook isn't out just yet, but your boy got a shout out in the acknowledgements. So yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. And I also have an interview that we did for the Addicted to Audio Audiobook Club on my channel where we talk all things Queens and Monsters with the one and only JT Gessinger. So go check that out as well. And also I forgot to mention JT herself sent me copies of these books. Then up next I have Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark. Y'all I cave. I decided to give this author a try and I absolutely really enjoyed this book. I read this a while ago and I will be continuing on. There was one character I believe Sebastian that I really wanted to read his book but then someone said like hey his book is not like until like book five or six in the series. And I was like, I officially hate you, Sophie. Now I had to wait all these books to get to the character that I want to read the most about. But I'm super excited to be continuing on my journey in this series. And yeah, I really like it. I definitely believe the hype is real for this book. Then up next, I have two books in the Mad Men series by Anli James. Up first, I have book four, which is entitled Headcase. And then I also have book five, which is entitled Mad Men. Now, I do recommend that you read the series in order because they do kind of follow a, same, a, same or a similar same timeline or whatever you want to say. It. Like, it feels like all the books happen consecutively of each other. So you do get to kind of meet the family and you kind of get teased for future couples that will come in later books. But I absolutely love this series. So the way that I pitch this series is that you follow a family of brothers. They're all adopted. They're all vigilantes. So they basically take out evil people who like the eyes of the law cannot properly do justice. That was a really odd way of saying it. And they all are some varying degrees of sociopathic and it's their romances with a lot of times very normal human beings that kind of get caught up in their webs. But it is dark, but it's like the coziest dark romance, MM romances. They're all MM romances that I've ever read. And if you have been sleeping on this series, I need you to get on it. The audiobooks are a little bit delayed for this series. So I think the latest book, which is book five, Mad Men, is not currently out on audio, but it should be coming out very soon. Then I have Let Me In by R.M. Virtues. I don't know what book number this is in the Gods of Hunger series, but all the books in that series are kind of like retellings of Greek mythology with a little bit more of a twist. Like sometimes they, he changes like the sexual identity of the characters or whatever, or vice versa, or a lot of different things. I heard really great things about this series, but the only gripe that I have about this, at least this edition, I don't know if this is something that is the case for all the books in this series, but so one of the things that like, as you can see, like the margins on this book are like incredibly big, but the text itself like, like occupies so little of like the, of the page itself. So the book feels a lot longer than it actually is. Like this book is huge, but when you actually look at the formatting, like it's not really that overly long. I think it's about 384 pages, but if you look at this book, you would think it's like a 600 page book. So I don't know if that's the issue with the whole entire series, but that's one thing that kind of irked me about this edition. Or maybe, I don't know if I got like a, a bogus copy, but I thought I wanted to mention that. Up next, I have a couple books in the Wicked Villain series by Katie Robert, and this is her retelling series about Disney villains. So up first I have Queen Takes Rose and this is uh, Ursula's book. Then I have The Sea Witch, which I believe this is Ursula's book. So I don't actually know what Queen Takes Rose, like what villain features in that book, but I know for sure this is Ursula's book. Then I have The Wicked Villain Shorts, which is like a collection of short stories that Katie released on her Patreon and then just bound them all up in a print edition. And then finally I have A Worthy Opponent, which is Hook and Tinkerbell story in this series. Then I have The Dark Ones by Rachel Van Dyken and this is book one in her paranormal romance series and this one follows vampires. Then I have Follow Me Darkly by Helen Hart. Hart? Hart? I believe that's how you pronounce the author's last name. And this is kind of like your very stereotypical Fifty Shades of Grey billionaire office place on um, BDSM romance. But I'm super excited to be getting into this book. I did get an arc. I believe Lacey sent me this copy. I may be wrong, but thank you again, Lacey, for sending this book my way. Then I have Savage Queen by Ali Sizen. This is a high school bully romance. And then these next set of books are books I got from various book boxes. I believe these all came from like the Dark Hearts romance 
book box. I believe that's the name of the title of the book box. I'll link them down below if you want to check out this box. So up first I have a little short story. Um, I don't believe it's a collection. I believe it's just something that will be serial that comes in all the different boxes. But this is His Gift by J.L. Beck and C. Hallman. Don't know anything about this one, but I know it's Dark Romance. Then I have Devil Her by Rachel Lay. Then I have The Degradation of Shelby Ann by Emma Cole. And this is a Dark Romance Reverse Harem. I know there's quite a few trigger warnings for this book. So if you are interested, please check out the trigger warnings before you delve into this book. And then finally, I have Wreck My Plans by Kelsey Clayton. And I believe this is a college, like new adult romance. I'm not quite sure, but that's what I think it is. So up next, I have kind of like my graphic novels, YA and novella kind of collection. So up first, I have the first five, and I think there's only five volumes in this series of Brody's Ghost by Mark Crilly. If you don't know who Mark Crilly is, he, he's actually a YouTuber that's been on YouTube for a very long time, does a lot of like manga drawing tutorials. And this is one of his um, few published works. And I absolutely love this series. So in this one, we basically follow a ghost hunter and a ghost that haunts him and basically forces our ghost hunter to try and figure out what happened to our, the ghost, who was a female in the situation. And also so this kind of intertwines with his broken relationship with his ex-girlfriend because he thinks that the killer that killed the ghost will, is now targeting his ex-girlfriend. So it's a little bit a romantic suspense, very low on the romance, but very much a suspense plot. Absolutely love this series. Then up next, I have three books in the Creature Cafe series by Cleo Evans, and this is a monster paranormal, very kind of spanning and kind of varying in terms of like couple pairing. So like this one, Little Piece of Sass is, I believe, a FFM romance. And then Little Taste of Need is a FF romance. And then Little Song of Pain is a MMF romance, if I'm not mistaken. Then I have one of the books in the Touch of Taboo series. I believe this is a third book and this is Seducing My Guardian. This is a guardianship romance. Then I have Single, Girls, Single Girl Rules book one by Ivy Smoke. And this is a series of novellas following the same character and I believe it intertwines with another one of Ivy's series. I believe that that's called The Society. But you don't have to read the Society series to get what's happening in this series, even though the um, heroine's best friend is a main character of that series. Then I have The Prince by Jillian Dodd. I believe this is YA, but I know nothing about this book, but it looks really good. I believe it's a royalty, espionage type plot book. Type plot book that makes zero sense, but you see, I don't really know what this book is about. Then I have Break My House by Candace Elo. I believe it's how you pronounce the author's last name, and this is a hard hitting coming of age on um, why a contemporary novel is pretty short, but there are also quite a few trigger warnings because this deals heavily with grief. Our main character um, basically finds out that her estranged mother is suddenly dead and it's her process coming to terms with her broken relationship with her mother and that whole side of her family as well. Really love this one. Definitely something that will hit you really hard in the feels, but really good. Up next, I have the completed duet by, I don't know what the name of this duet is called, but it's uh, War Girls and then Rebel Sisters by Tochi Onyabuchi. And this is basically Afro science fiction YA, if that's the way you describe it. That's all I know about this. I think that was a bad description, but definitely these are more kind of like Afrofuturism sci-fi books. Wow, that was a really bad explanation, so I'm sorry, y'all. Then I have Beast Boy Loves Ra Beast Boy Loves R Raven by Cami Garcia, and this I believe is the third book in the Teen Titans graphic novel series or comic book series. I don't know what you call this. Is it a graphic novel? Is it a comic book? I don't really know, but this is the third book in that series and you do have to read their, um, the first two books that are in the series are focusing on each of our two main characters. So one book is focused on Beast Boy and the other book is focused on Raven. And this is kind of their culmination of their two stories. Then I have Fence Volume 4 by C.S. Picot. I think I only bought this because I couldn't find it digitally, but I since found on my Kindle that I own the digital copy of this. But this series is now discontinued. This basically follows a group of um, college students who go to, I believe, a sports university, I guess is what they call it, and they all, all are on the fence team. And it's, um, between our two main characters, there is an enemies of lovers, potential lovers situation going on here. But since this graphic novel series has been discontinued, you quite don't really know where the story goes after this volume. Then up next, I have my contemporary romance section. So up first, I have two books by J.R. Gray. I have the first book, which is Scapegoat, which is M.M. Romantic Suspense. 
And then I have Pretty Toxic, which is an MM Rockstar romance. Then I have Falling Embers by Katherine Cowles, and I believe this is a small town romantic suspense romance. Then I have Love Next Door by Helena Hunting, and this is another book that Lacey sent me, and this is a small town contemporary romance. I forgot what the plot was of this one. I read this one quite a while ago, but I really did enjoy this one. Then I have A Brush with Love by Maisie Eddings, and this is a dentist romance. Pretty low steam, but it was really cute and really fun and entertaining. Then I have Nanny I Want to Meet. Mate, I believe. Yeah, Nanny I Want to Made by Mia Kayla and this is a romantic, I would say romantic comedy with a suspense subplot but I don't want to tell you what that suspense plot is because that's kind of a spoiler but it does have a little bit of romantic suspense in this book and this book we follow a single father who is recently widowed with two kids and he basically needs to hire a new nanny and he strikes up a relationship with that nanny. Then I have Love to Tempt You by Jay Simon and this is a rock star romance and this is book one in a five book series following each of the members of this rock band. Then I have A Season to Celebrate by Fern Michaels and a couple other authors. This is a Christmas anthology romance. Then I have Rebel Roommate, which I believe this is a sports romance. Then I have All Geek to Me by Allie York. Then I have Most Eligible Bachelor by Annika Martin, and I believe this is a billionaire romance, and I believe it does have any, the enemies to lovers trope as well. Then I have Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade, and I believe Naima from Naima Reed sent me this book a while ago, and I'm just getting around to hauling it. But I believe this is a romance between an actor on a famous like kind of like Game of Thrones S show and a fan of that show. And they both meet at a fan convention. Then I have another book that JT sent me and this one is Melt For You. This is book two in our Slow Burn series. And for the Slow Burn series you don't have to read these books in order. They're all standalones. But I would want to warn you that they all are slow burns. Hence why the series is entitled Slow Burn. So don't go into this thinking that you're going to get spice right off the bat. It is a slow burn, but it is so well worth it if you stick with this book. And this book, we have a Scottish hero, and they're both, um, our two main characters are our roommates, and our heroine absolutely hates the hero's guts, but she is secretly attracted to him, and he notices that, and slowly, by bit by bit, he wears her down. Then I have Fighting for a Second Chance by Nikki Ash, and this is the first book in the Fighting for Love series. And this one does involve like a one night stand at surprise pregnancy trope. That's something that Nikki Ash writes in a lot of her books, but I absolutely love this book. It is high steam. It is so good. It is a page turner and I absolutely love this first book. Then I have Jackson by Laquette and I believe this is a modern day Western romance with a black cowboy. Then I have From the Shadows by BJ Daniels. I know absolutely nothing about this book. I think I got it when I was trying to collect Harlequins. And this is one of the books that they sent me. Then I have The Country Guest House by Robin Carr. I've been wanting to read to Robin Carr um, because she has the Netflix series that is currently ongoing, which is Virgin River. But that series is crazy long and I'm a little bit intimidated. So I thought this would be a great place to start with her books. Then I have A Highlander Walks Into a Bar by Laura Trentham. And this book was sent to me by my great friend uh, Desiree from Genki Reader. She does have another channel that I'll link down below, which is absolutely amazing as well. But yes. I believe this is a Highlander Scottish modern day rom-com. Then I have Ignite by Melanie Harlow, which is a firefighter single dad romance. I believe it's a single dad. Not quite sure on that. Then I have another book that Desiree sent me. This is A Lights on Nocturne Bridge. No, sorry, Nocturne Lane by Rowan Parrish. I actually have an interview with Rome Parish on my channel that my friend Desiree joined me for is absolutely amazing. I'll link that in the card symbol up above if you want to check out that interview. This one is relatively no scene because it is, it is a special edition Harlequin, but it's so good. If you love MM romance, you have to pick up this book. Then I have One Week to Win It All by Adriana Herrera. And this is another book that Lacey sent me a while ago. And this is an office place, second chance, enemies to lovers romance. And then up next, I have my special edition books or books that it couldn't fit in any other category. So let's get into these books. So up first, I have two books from the Dangerous Romance book box. I believe that's the name of this um, box that these books came from. Up first, I have Savage Mafia Prince by Annika Martin. And then I also have Dark Rain by Amelia Wilde, which is, I believe, book one in a trilogy, which is set in the Midnight Dynasty world. So the Constantines and Morellis, that whole type series, that whole series. Then I have The Rake I Like to F, and this is a, a historical romance anthology uh, with um, short stories written by all these authors here above. I haven't read this one, but I'm super excited to be getting into this one, hopefully very soon. There is no audio and it is quite of a chunker, so I don't know when this is going to be read, but we're going to stay optimistic about this book, okay? Then I have a, the book of the month, a special edition of the Love Hypothesis 
Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. And this was initially spoiled by the Raylo fan fiction, but this follows two, um, one is a graduate student, one is a professor in a graduate STEM program. And it's their kind of romance, kind of fake dating, enemies to lovers type book. Then I have the special edition cover of Truly by Carmel Rose, and this is a dark romance. Um, I forgot what box I got this from, but I also have an interview with the author on my channel that we did for the Addicted to Audio Book Club. I'll link that up in the card symbol up above if you want to go check out that interview. Then the next two books, sorry for the glare of my ring right, these are two books from the Bell Book Box. If you want a discount on your um, next coming box, I believe my discount code is Charles10 or Charles15. I will put it like in a, like a box or text box to give you guys the right code for 10% off. But this one is, but these are two um, extra books that I have. I have Rich Prick by Tijan. And then I also have Badly or Behavior by Megan Brandy. I think that's the title of this book. But I already have these books. I think I got sent extras at one point. But I have these two books and look how pretty they are. Absolutely amazing hardcover as well. Then I have this anthology from the Bully Me book box. And I have a little bit of a gripe of like these mega huge anthology collections. Like this is um, full like novels written by a variety of authors listed down below. But my point is, if you can actually see my camera, if I actually focus, look how tiny that text is. Who can read text that small? Like it's almost like a little bit too small to be like functional, but I digress. I don't know if I'm ever going to read this. I may just like pick up the individual books on their own, but this edition is a little bit too heavy and a little bit too girthy for my tastes. Wow, that was a really bad dirty joke. We're just going to move on. And then finally, to wrap up this super long book haul, I have all my special edition books that I received from Hello Lovely. I'm a rep for Hello Lovely as well. You can use Charles15. I know that for sure that that is my code and you can get 10% off your um, purchases, book boxes, all types of things on the website. So up first, I have the two books that were part of the Gianna Darling Author Spotlight box. The first book, the special edition book that we got from Gianna Darling is Welcome to the Dark Side, and this is book two in the Fallen Men series. And then the guest author for that box was Sophie Lark, and I have a special edition copy of Savage Lover by Sophie Lark, which I think is like book four in the Brutal Birthright series. Don't quote me on that. I haven't read this series, but I believe this is the... Um, the eldest of some brother in the series. I can't remember. I can't remember. Um, but this cover, these two covers are absolutely gorgeous. And then I have three of the books that I have received so far from the Trope of the Month box. If you're not aware of what the Trope of the Month box is, essentially Hello Lovely picks a trope and then it picks a book to fit that trope. And then you get a special edition cover of that book every single month. So up first, I have The Hitman by, by Katrina Jackson. And this is an interracial mafia hitman romance. Then I have A Nordic King, which is a part of um, Karina Holly's like um, royal series, Swedish royal series. I think that's what it is. I think this is book two in that series, but they're all standalones and you don't have to read them in any particular order. And then I have Tutoring the R Player by Rebecca Jensack. And this is book one in the Campus Wildflower series. This is essentially follows... Um, our, our female protagonist who is a tutor who has to help out the star quarterback or something of the college football team. I think that's a plot. Don't quote me on that. And then the last set of books that I want to show you guys is a Jock, Ro Jock Hard series by Sarah Nye. Um, Hello Lovely did a whole um, special edition cover set for this trilogy. And I'm already gonna apologize in advance. I don't know the order of these books, but the first book I have is Jock Rule. Then we have Jock Row. And then we have Jock Road. And then we also have the novella in this series, which is called Switch Bitter. And I don't, I think this is a prequel novella. So you read this before you read the trilogy, but I'm not quite sure about that. But if you made it all the way to end this video, kudos to you. You are the real rock star. You are the real MVP for sticking with me through this really long book haul. Hopefully it was interesting. Hopefully you found some books that you want to pick up as well. Um, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this intro or outro. It's an outro. I'm pretty sure it's an outro. The, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video or to this channel. I should say subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. It will definitely, greatly, it will greatly help me out. I'm going to stop talking because I'm just getting worse and worse as this outro proceeds. But thank you guys again so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in a brand new video. Peace.